welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the ways in which my husband and I modified a portable draft table to accommodate some of my needs due to chronic pain and chronic illness. So keep on watching. So this is a video where I'm going to show you the modifications my husband and I made to an ordinary, inexpensive draft table that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, I have this great craft room that I call my self-care studio, but I really don't get to spend a lot of time in here because I can't sit or stand for any length of time, so I have to walk, get up and walk around a lot and alternate positions. So though I do have a big craft table I can sit at, and my husband built me a counter height sewing table so I can alternate between standing and sitting. Um, I still find if I want to be able to do anything for any length of time, and by that I mean more than 10 or 20 minutes, um, I have to be able to spend some time on the sofa. So I needed something that wasn't too heavy but was large enough to accommodate a large canvas. So right now I have an example on there and I'm using this one and you will probably never see it again because I do not like it. Um, it was my very first diamond painting I ever did because I wanted to see if I liked it before I bought my dream canvas from Diamond Art Club and that is coming today so be looking for that unboxing but anyway this is a diamond dots um, with a coupon and everything I got it for five dollars it's flutter by pink I think it would be really nice if the background wasn't so dark and busy so I might actually cut it out um, but anyway it's gonna suit the purpose that it's on there for today so this was a $39.99 draft table from Hobby Lobby. And with a 50% off coupon, I got it for $19.99. Now, um, it's adjustable height, but it was open bottom. So, um, it was just the frame here, and so there was really no way to sit it on your lap. So they also had this whiteboard, and it was like $7.99 and I had a 40% off coupon. So we attached it to the bottom and now I have a nice surface I can rest on my lap. One thing that I might still wanna do is add some padding because after a period of time, this just becomes a little heavy and uncomfortable if I'm putting it on my lap. But it actually even just works if I um, change the direction in which I'm sitting and just sit it right on the sofa with me. Um, so then, I got, I had this laying around the house and I wanted this so that um, I could rest my light pad on it because if it was only sitting down here, it just gave me a very small area on which to work. So I wanted to be able to adjust where and it went and everything, but I didn't really want to use Velcro. I saw some other people do that, but I just, I don't know, I guess I was just afraid it would hurt the back of my canvases or something. And then um, I started working on a smaller canvas on here and I thought, rather than use these clips or um, these clips, which I don't even know if I'm in frame, both came from Harbor Freight, which worked fine, um, but I just wanted a little more secure, so we just took another piece. So these clips were like 79 cents each, um, so really cheap, but I would like to find some that don't protrude so much because that can become cumbersome. These you get six for 99 cents at Harbor Freight, so great buy. Um, so yeah, so that is literally all we did. See, it folds down. It's not that heavy because I wouldn't be able to lift it or use it if it was. And um, so this is the other side of, um, I just covered the nail, heads of the nails with duct tape because I didn't want to get scratched because a few of the little brads are poking out. So, and this is what I use to do diamond painting on the sofa so that I can get a little extra time in in each session. I hope this was helpful to someone. If you have any questions, just please leave them in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I have a bunch of videos coming. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great day.